to put my hair up back with this headband and let's get started. Hey everyone, so I'm starting out with my Dermalogica Matte Primer, my e.l.f. Green Primer, and then my Maybelline Blur and Illuminate Primer. I'm putting those all over my skin. Then I'm going to take the Remmel Clean Finish Foundation. If you have not seen my uh, recent video, I just did a review on this with Josie, so go watch that video. I love this foundation. I think it's great for summer when you're looking for something with a little bit of coverage, but super light still. And then I'm just taking my Real Techniques uh, face brush and blending this in. So if you guys have not seen my last video, you should go check it out. It is the Maybelline mm, Superstay Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I think that's what they're called. I just did a review on them. They're great. They stay for a really long time. But anyways, next I'm taking my Benefit Boing Concealer. And I'm just using this a little bit under my eyes. And then to conceal any blemishes or anything like that. It's a great concealer. I think it might be discontinued now though. I'm not entirely sure. I looked on Ulta the other day to try and purchase it, and it looked like there was only one shade, which was like the deep medium color, and I was kind of confused. But I think that's because it's discontinued. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, I'm just taking my Beauty Blender to blend this out, and this is the L'Oreal Beauty Blender. So then next I'm taking my Catrice Camouflage Concealer and my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I think that's what it's called. I don't know if it actually has a name or not, but that's what I'm doing. I'm putting this underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, Cupid's bow, and chin just to highlight in any places my face that I want to be highlighted. And again, I'm blending these in with my Beauty Blender, aka L'Oreal Sponge. I'm also really sorry about the lighting in this video. I didn't realize that if I lean forward, my camera auto focuses, so then it makes my face look super white and ghostly, so I'm sorry for that. But then anyways, after I blended all the concealer, I'm taking my RCMA translucent setting powder and I put it in this little container because otherwise it got all over the place because it was in this bottle that you have to like pour out. I feel like you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I'm just using this to like lightly dust it on my face. I kind of bake with it. I kind of don't. I just kind of put it everywhere and set my makeup with it. And then usually I'll take a brush after and I'll brush it all over my face just to make sure it's all blended in, but some days I'm lazy and I just put it on my face with a beauty blender and just hope that it looks okay and not cakey. Alright, so next I'm using my e.l.f. blush and bronzer duo brush and I'm using the Essence Matte Skin Sunny Bronzer and I'm just using this to bronze my face, I'm using it on my temples and then anywhere else I want to look bronzy and glowy. I normally don't contour my face just because I think it's a little too harsh for every day, but I definitely usually bronze my face since most of my foundations are a little light at this time. And then I'm taking my Essence Highlighter with another blush slash bronzer brush from Wet n Wild. I'm just putting this on the high points of my cheeks, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. So now I'm using my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow pencil that has a spoolie on the end, and I'm using my Essence um, brow gel. So I'm just using the spoolie to comb through my, bra my brows, and I'm filling in my brows a tiny bit with the brow pencil. Oh, that was my mom. And then I'm taking the um, brow gel, and I'm just brushing it through my brows just to make them a little bit darker and just fill in the sparse parts. I don't really fill in my eyebrows too crazy because... I feel like mine are pretty thick as it is, so I just usually brush through them, put a little bit of brow gel and a little bit of the pencil in it, and call it good. 
All right, so now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. I think that's what it's called. It's a really nice palette. It thinks it's like a pretty close dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills make or Modern Renaissance palette. There we go. I'm just using the brush that it came with. I really do like this brush. I think it's actually a pretty darn good brush for a brush that comes with a palette. So first I'm taking this light brown shade and I'm going to put this in my crease as my transition shade. So I'm just going back and forth and making sure that it's all blended and stuff like that. Alright, so now I'm taking this really dark, well not really dark, this darker brown color and I'm focusing this on my outer V and then blending it up towards the crease. I don't want it to be too dramatic, but I just want it to give my eye some definition. So I blend, 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 and blend this into my crease area and my outer V. As you can see, I blend this one a lot because it's kind of dark so it can get crazy. So then I'm taking this nice, pretty, it's like a little bit shimmery red color. And I'm putting this on, in my crease, but like more towards the inner corner of my eye. I know, I don't think a lot of people do this, but I like to do this because I think it just gives my nice some... Uh, my eye some nice color in this really nice pop of red so I just do that and I put it there and then um, I'm going to close up the Makeup Revolution palette and I'm grabbing this Catrice um, single shadow it's called the liquid metal shadow I forgot what shade it's in it's like this really nice light golden brown or not golden brown just a nice light gold and I'm just putting this on my lid and then I'm using it on the inner corners of my eyes as you can see I'm just use, applying it with my finger I think personally that's the best way to apply it otherwise it gets super um, flaky and it has a lot of fallout So then I'm taking my Chella Chubby Highlight Stick and I'm just using this to highlight my brow bone. I really like this. It's like a nude, like, creamy eyeshadow. I think it's like completely matte, but I just use that to highlight my brow bone. Um, and then I'm using my eyelash curler right here just to curl my eyelashes. Sometimes I skip curling my eyelashes, but most of the time I just curl them because they fall otherwise. Um, and then I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara first. I'm really particular about my mascara, so I usually use three different ones. The one that I didn't show in this video that I use a lot is the Argan one from Physician's Formula. It has argan oil in it. It's called something argan. I really like it, so I usually use that one first. It helps my lashes grow. And then I use this L'Oreal Voluminous one, but I forgot to grab the other one. And then I'm taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I know, I'm like a fan of L'Oreal apparently. But I like this mascara. At first I didn't think I was going to like this one at all because... So then, this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know I love this makeup. I think it's super natural. And of course, you can definitely change up the eyeshadow or use a similar palette if you don't have the Makeup Revolution one. But I really like the Makeup Revolution one. It's really cheap. It sells for $15 at Ulta. And the $15, because it's a $15 item, you can get the $350 off $15 using an Ulta coupon. So I think it's a really good deal and it's a really nice palette. Plus it's a dupe for the uh, Modern Renaissance palette, which is like $44 from Anastasia. So thank you guys so much for watching.